Hello, everyone, and welcome to this new case that I'm following the Christian Ambaselli murder trial. And Courtney Clunny has admitted to fatally stabbing her live in boyfriend, Christian Toby Ambaselli, on April 3rd of 2022 in Miami. The young couple had recently moved together from Austin, Texas, where they met to Miami, Florida. The OnlyFans influencer, Courtney Clenny, looked teary-eyed in her mugshot after she was arrested at a rehab facility in Hawaii and charged with murdering her boyfriend at their Miami home. She was arrested on August 10th in 2022. Clenny, age 26, insists that she stabbed Christian Abaselli, age 27, in self-defense. And her lawyer goes on to defend Courtney saying, I am completely shocked, especially since we were cooperating with the investigation and offered to voluntarily surrender her if she were charged. And her lawyer is Frank Prieto. Frank Prieto. And we look forward to clearing her name in court. I have to say that this case has garnered some public interest and is a ton of evidence. There are a lot of unanswered questions as well, including this ongoing alleged abuse between Courtney Clenny and Christopher Ambaselli. And as they introduce evidence, we'll find out more. But that has led me to look into Courtney's jail file. And there have been a ton of hearings. In fact, that there is a hearing coming up January 12th, 2023 in Miami Beach, Florida. Courtney is currently being held at the Turner Guilford Knight Corrections Center in Miami-Dade County. And I wanted to do this pop-out video today because I've been looking over her file. There's several incidents that I want to tell you about, including information in her jail file. This I found very interesting. I definitely believe that the behavior within the jail is important. So as we look at this incident report, it's a disciplinary report that happened on April 14th of 2023, and the charge was found to be disruptive. And let's go ahead and look at the statement of facts. On April 14th, 2023, at approximately 1934 hours, Officer L. Nelson, while assigned as K61 unit manager, allowed the following safety cell inmates out of their cells for floor time. Inmate Clenny walked out of her room and approached my desk and stated to me, Nelson, why was I seven minutes late for my visit? You need to do your job and pop my door, B-I-T-C-H. I advise inmate Clenny that such language would not be tolerated. Inmate Clenny continued to state loudly while walking towards the phone area, y'all dumb ass blanks need to learn how to do your job. Stupid B-I-T-C-H. Then advise Clenny that her attempts to antagonize or provoke a response from staff will not be tolerated and gave her a verbal order to go to her room. But to no avail, 1936 hours, Corporal O. Nelms walked into the unit and observed the incident taking place. Corporal Nelms then counseled inmate Clenny on her behavior as she escorted her to her room. Inmate Clenny was previously counseled for the same behavior. So there was a charge and I believe that there was an investigation. So there was a disciplinary hearings finding. She was found guilty and then she lost her privileges of the commissary for eight days and then loss of visitation for eight days and also the loss of telephone for eight days. I have not been able to access her visitors, but I do have information concerning some of her grievances that I want to go over in her jail file video along with her response to this disciplinary report. And among other many interesting grievances and disciplinary actions against Courtney, which leads me to believe that she might not be that innocent as she claims, but stay tuned for more videos. Also stay tuned for Donna Adelson's file, as well as more Jared Brightigan 
information as those cases unfold as well. Thank you so much for watching and liking and subscribing. Have a wonderful day.